Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? So today we're going to be talking, I hope everybody's doing great. I asked a question and I blow right through it. So um, today we're going to be talking about the Viper Technologies coil coil cleaning, the or actually coil coating. And this is the Viper Technology product. I've seen it on the shelf a bunch of times and in my head I'm like, does it work? Does it do what it's supposed to do? And I walk by it and then I'm like, mm. and I don't really see it moving on the shelves all that much. And so finally I thought, well, I'll buy a can. I'll take it home. I'll play with it. I'll see what it's about and see if it really works. So the coil, clo the coil coating, I have a hard time with that. The coil coating actually has been sprayed. Now I sprayed it about, about halfway up, so like right in this area down, it's all coil coating. And then up here is uncoated uh, galvanized. Now I've also sprayed the coil as well. Um, I wanted to see how it bonded itself to the fins and I wanted to make sure that it did not take and fill in the gaps in between the fins because sometimes I'm always worried that these things will come out like spray glue and it just packs the coil in and then all of a sudden I've got a ruined coil. Well in this case it didn't do that at all. It sprays on really well so when you shake it all up and you spray it on the coil it comes out very fine like a very fine mist and I've got it really close and it doesn't take and bunch up in the coil at all. And so when you spray the coil coating on there, it, um, it bonds itself to the aluminum fins or, you know, or the galvanizing. And for me, that was the huge thing was the galvanizing as well as the aluminum fin. But the galvanizing, like the base rails of equipment, you know, uh, they're just susceptible to corrosion and they rust out really fast. Because, you know, normally when I buy an air conditioning unit, sometimes we'll send it to like Texas or in Los Angeles. There's a place where they can physically dip the coils, but they don't actually dip the whole unit. And so you've got exposed galvanizing, galvanized metal and parts on here that rust out. The coil will look great. And then in some cases, the base rail is rusting apart and the coil looks fantastic. So then the thought was, well, will this take and treat the galvanizing as well, you know, the galvanized parts like the galvanized base rails underneath the compressors, screws, uh, EMT, you know, your conduit. Could you take and coat this on the conduit and the fittings like on top, and, you know, and seal up those fittings so that they don't rust out? And it actually, it actually worked. And so part of the problem though was how do we get, <laughs> how do we get water to show up on camera? Like how do I get water to show up on camera? so that you can see it flowing and, uh, and it ends up doing what it's supposed to do. And you can see the coil coating in action. So we actually figured out a way. I've been playing with it for the morning, morning and had to go to the store and got red food coloring. And so the red food coloring is gonna allow me to take this water and it's catching in a pan and you can kind of see it right here. I can take and spread this water out. And as it's going down the unit, this is all the galvanizing section right here. But here, right here, this is where it's plastic coating. And look how the water changes. It changes. Even though I'm spreading it out and trying to get it to, it, it changes on the way it flows. And, it, and the, it's almost like wax. It ends up beating down the middle and creating like a river of water all the way down into my catch basin. And so it works perfectly. It did everything that I was hoping that it was gonna do. And so if I've had galvanized fittings in here or galvanized piece of like base rail on the bottom of the unit and I spray it, it's gonna keep that corrosive, you know, salts and water and God knows what else is in the air from attaching itself and bonding itself to the galvanizing and it's gonna protect the galvanized parts. And so it did, it, it's working fantastic. Again, you can see it right here, like up here on top, how the water really spreads itself out. You can see it right there, how it's really spreading itself out. And right here, how it's spreading itself out. And then it gets right here to where the galvanizing, or the uh, coating is, and look what happens. It ends up coming together and actually going down the middle, or the middle of this rail. It's almost like the galvanized pieces don't want anything to do with water it's going to beat it up, it's going to sheen it out, it's going to get it right off there as fast as it can. And so it 100% worked. It did way better than I thought it was going to do. And that really is, um, you know, the, the power of the Viper coil coating from Refrigeration Technologies. And you can check them out at refrig.com, R-E-F-R-I-G.com. 
And you know, and if you have any questions about it, you can get a hold of me through HVAC Reefer Guy at gmail.com, HVAC Reefer, R E F E R Guy at gmail.com. And you can send me a question if you don't want to put something up on the chat board on this video, because you can chat and we'll go back and forth and discuss it, and everybody can chime in and do what they want. But if you want a personal question, this is definitely the way to go at HVAC Reefer Guy at gmail.com. And so the refrigeration technologies. Oh my God, huge win. Check it out. You can really see what it's doing. Even when I come down here, you know, that water is beating really fast. It, it's, you can see it right there. It's like water and wax. When you wax your car for the first time, it completely does the job. So for me, this is a huge win. Uh, I, I can endorse the refrigeration technologies coil coating from Viper, the Viper coil clean, coating, I can't even say the damn word, coil coating, um, from refrigeration technologies and Viper, uh, total corrosion protection, no loss of heat transfer of any kind. Huge win, fantastic product. And so you definitely wanna check them out. Um, it definitely did what it was supposed to do. You can see it right there, we'll spray a little more. I've got the water going, I've got this red water going into a catch pan and I'm wearing shorts and it's splashing up all over my legs. So I'm gonna have red spots all over my legs. Isn't that great? But yeah, huge, look at that. You can see it doing exactly what I wanted to do and what I was hoping that it was gonna do. And that was beat up like wax, get rid of the water as fast as possible and then protect that galvanized metal and the galvanized base rail or anything that's metal that's not been treated or dipped and protect it from everything around it. So huge win for Mike and John over at Refrigeration Technologies. You can check them out at refridge.com. This is the Viper coil coating, total corrosion protection with no loss of heat transfer. So work safe, be safe, be good humans. I appreciate the support. Make sure you hit the little subscription uh, subscribe to it because I'm putting content out more than ever. I'm sure you guys have seen me. Holy crap, I've doubled up my effort on content. I've got so much stuff coming your way. So make sure you hit the subscription bell um, and uh, the notification bell and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's totally free. And uh, we'll keep getting you some content. So work safe, be safe, be good humans. We'll see you next time.